Hey guys, thanks for coming back to the channel, checking us out here at Hidden Valley Homestead. We have got a snowstorm with blowing snow and crazy temps outside. It's already late February. We got to get the starts going for the garden. So we're going to do our DIY paper start cups because I'm too cheap to go buy the ones at the store. So let's get started. Welcome to Hidden Valley Homestead, where my wife Olivia and I escaped the city to homestead our off-grid property in Idaho. This is our journey. All right, guys, we're going to make two different size of uh, cups. Actually, we're going to do three different sizes. But first, let's talk about the paper. First, there's a big concern about using the glossy paper and all the chemicals and blah, blah, blah. Use the non-glossy stuff. It has a soy-based biodegradable ink that's in here that's safe for your plants. So let's get that out of the way. This is a great way to use cheap, uh, use your resources that you have to make something on the cheap and it totally works. Once those starts go, this stuff will break down in the soil and actually provide compost for your soil and the roots will break right through this. We'll talk about the uh, toilet paper ones in just a second, but let's start with these first. I'm gonna take a small piece like so and I'm gonna fold this in half, and you really only want about an inch. No, on a small can, you, only, you don't want more than an inch really hanging over. You're gonna fold it in half, or thirds, whatever works best. You're gonna have the folded edge at the top. Then you're gonna gently, you know, you want that seed starter cup to be a couple of inches tall at the most. You don't want it real tall. Then you're gonna, you're gonna loosely roll this up, like so. Start where the overlap is, fold that in, work your way around, folding that in, and you can use your thumb to really crease that paper down. And then you can even turn this thing over and press it down on the, on, on the table. That's why you want it to be loose so that you, you can slide the can out easy. Use some of the cans that have an indented surface on it and you can tuck that bottom in a little bit. Now, once you put a bunch of these inside of a, uh, we're going to do our little winter greenhouses with our milk jugs, and you put dirt in there, it's going to hold these paper cups, and they're going to hold their shape. It's going to keep the bottoms all in place. So there's one for the small one. Here's the big one. I'm going to take a big sheet of paper. I'm going to fold this sucker in half. Again, I'm putting the folded edge at the top. We're going to roll this sucker up loosely, leaving about an inch or so overhanging. We don't want these to be suit. And if you don't want them to be that deep, you can actually fold this in thirds. Let's do a third. Again, putting the folded edge at the top. Roll that sucker up where the overlap is. It doesn't have to be pretty. Start folding it over. If there's a little bit of a hole in the middle, that's okay. It'll help for drainage later on. There we go. Press those down. Flip it over. Voila. And you've got yourself a paper seed starter cup. Again, once you put a bunch of those together in here, they will hold themselves together. Okay. We looked at the different options out there that, that people were making. There's a nice little origami square one. It is absolutely beautiful and really holds its shape really well, but it's a lot, a lot of work to do this. Here's another one where we actually had taken some wings and folded the wings over to kind of hold the paper together. But again, uh, I mean, if you want to take the time to do that, it kind of holds its shape a little bit better, but uh, I prefer these. These are quick and easy. Okay, let's talk about the toilet paper rolls. So toilet paper rolls are a little bit too tall, obviously. You're going to cut that sucker right in half, right? You're going to make four cuts, about oh, three quarters of an inch or so. Four cuts opposite each other. You're going to make four wings. Okay, then you're going to fold it just like you're packing, doing a packing box. Fold those over with tabs, right? And then you can pull this little corner up and tuck that corner in. I'm all thumbs today. There you go. Pinch them. 
it'll kind of square it up. There you go. And you've got the side, you got the bottom folded and you've got yourself a nice little seed start uh, cup. Now the toilet paper roll is nice because it's cardboard. It'll actually hold its shape and hold up longer when you're watering it because these are going to have seeds in them for probably about uh, four to six weeks. So the toilet paper is nice because it'll hold its shape. But if you're worried about the roots not being able to get through in time, you can always, once these things have started and sprouted, you can un you can open it up and then plant this whole thing in, in the ground. Okay, guys, so we're going to be doing a whole bunch of these things. We're going to fill them with some of the potting mix, and then we're going to put our seed starts in there and put a bunch of these in the milk cartons, tape those suckers up and put them out. We're going to have them started inside first, and once the weather warms up towards the end of March, we'll put them outside to help starting to harden those plants and those starts. And then once we get closer to uh, planting season, uh, well, they say June 1st is really the last real day for frost up here in Idaho. And uh, so we're gonna have these things in here for the next couple of months starting, so. You can use a, a funnel to put the dirt in these things. And you wanna spray this, and of course you wanna get the, the dirt a little bit wet. But once you put dirt in these things, the weight of the dirt will also help these paper cups keep their shape. We put them in a box and we're gonna put them on a plastic lid for uh, to make sure that they, any water that, get, that seeps through goes onto the plastic lid. We'll put a link down in the description for this funnel lid, but most of you guys that are canners and preppers already have one of these. Guys, thanks for watching. See you guys on the next video.